fellow RC enthusiast. It's your host Tom Cogswell from Spectrum RC and Horizon Hobby here for another Spectrum Quick Hit Tech Tip video. In this video we're going to be talking to you about this receiver in particular. This is the AR637TA. It's not available openly and it only comes in bind and fly and ready to fly aircraft. And coming only in those aircraft, it is preset and locked from programming. But many of you would like to take this receiver once you've demolished your plane in some fashion, or you just want to take it out and try it in something else, or you even want to program it yourself. We have now added firmware where you'll be able to unlock the receiver so that you can program it just like an AR637T or an AR630. First off, let's talk about updating the AR637TA with our Spectrum PC programmer so you can unlock it and program it how you see fit. All right, so updating to unlock your AR637TA simply takes two things. You need a Windows-based computer or laptop and our Spectrum USB programmer. This is the SPMA3065. Now, if you've seen a couple of my other updating videos where we've used this cable, it's the exact same process, so I'm not gonna waste you guys' time on going through that process. We're gonna have a link up in the corner for you to be able to go to that video to update your receiver. You're gonna follow those steps to log in, register, and update your 637TA receiver to the latest firmware version available. At this time, we're looking at 2.37.8. It may be later than that, but don't go back to 0.7. That's the stock firmware. So one helpful thing about the AR637TAs that you pull out of your bind and fly or ready to fly models is that it does have a tag on the side that tells you exactly which firmware, or rather what model version is on the side. It's gonna be in the form of one of our part numbers, but it's really helpful for you to be able to know, let's say you bought this from a friend or at a swap meet and you don't know exactly what's on there already. That's a great way for you to know what's already installed on the firmware. So let's go into the forward programming menu. I am using an iX20, but this same menu is gonna be exactly the same on any DX model or pretty much any other model that has forward programming. And that's because forward programming is actually something that's coming from the receiver. It's not something that's on the radio. Now the look might be a little different, but the menu structure will be exactly the same. As I'll show you in this little example with the DX9 that I've got. The same, every menu option is exactly the same, so when you follow along with this video, it's going to be pretty much synonymous for you. One of the reasons I'm using the iX20 is so I can screen capture everything that's going on here and I can kind of overlay it onto the video as you see here. So let's go to model adjust and forward programming. First off, and this is very important, I would highly recommend if you're gonna keep it in the same plane, or even if you're not, if you're gonna take this receiver out and put it in another model, go ahead and go to other settings and go to save to backup, that bottom selection here, and hit apply. What that's going to do is it's going to save all the presets that were on the 637TA from the factory, the model that it came in, all those presets that made it fly great are gonna be saved into the receiver as a backup. So if you mess something up, or you want to revert back to those presets, you can easily do that by going to Restore from Backup, that second from bottom there. If you want to factory reset the receiver and use it in another model, that's what factory reset is for. That is going to completely wipe out everything on this receiver. Uh, and it's important that you have watched it up to this point if you're going to be keeping this receiver, like this receiver, like I said, it came out of an Ultimate 3D. If I was going to keep this receiver in that Ultimate 3D, but I wanted to factory reset it and do this all myself, if I wanted to set up the receiver to my liking, to how I want my switch positions to react with different safe functions, different fail safe functions, things like that, it's gonna reset it and it's gonna work just like an open stock AR637T. And what that means, is that your radio settings may not be the same. The 637TA's stock programming at, for the bind and fly plane or the ready to fly plane that it came out of is set up so you don't have to do any reversing or travel adjustments on your radio. That's all set up and done with the receiver and it assumes that you're running everything like it's prescribed in the manual. 
if you do a factory reset, like I'm doing here, and I hit complete, and go to gyro settings, oh. it's gonna, just like I said, it's gonna act like it's the first time it's being used, right? When you set up a 637T receiver, you have to set up your airplane as if you're gonna fly it without AS3X first. You have to check your channel reversing, you have to check your travels, things like that. If you hadn't done that, you might have a bad time because the presets that we allow for people to use with find and fly planes, like you've downloaded the preset, or if you've set it up per the manual, those settings aren't guaranteed to be the same and they likely will not be. So you'll have to probably reverse your aileron or your elevator for the plane to fly, fly correctly because things could be backwards. So really make sure, and this is always just good RC etiquette, is to double check even before every flight. I myself have made it and I've had, I think we've all had problems where we've taken off, we've done a couple of setting changes or we've switched to a new radio and we thought everything was right and I've taken off and my ailerons reversed. And that ends in normally a pretty bad day unless you're pretty skilled. Um, but yeah, just again, before you fly, especially if you do a factory reset, double check your control surfaces that they are moving the correct direction. I'm gonna go ahead and go back to my restore my backup because I'm not gonna be putting this in another airplane. This is just kind of an example, I reset it. But I just wanna show you guys that once I go to restore from backup, it's gonna go back to what I had saved it before. This is gonna go back to the preset settings that were for the Ultimate 3D, because that's what this receiver came out of. So now if we go back to gyro settings and AS3X settings, everything are back to the stock gain values. And I don't have, even have a flight mode set up yet. Got this. Another thing with the factory reset is it will not delete the backup model. So that's why I told you number one step is to backup everything that was on the 637TA before you get started going down this path of customizing it for yourself. Okay, so now that we've talked about that, let's talk about another one on here real quick. And I wanna do another video on this menu and that's the frame rate menu. We've got this menu here and it might be a little complicated for you guys. I know I hear a lot of people saying, don't talk engineering to me. And honestly, I'm not an engineer, but I hear it all the time. The reason I'm mentioning this is if you're using an AR637T or a TA that's been unlocked and a plane with older analog servos and it's causing some weird like stuttering or the servos just aren't functioning right, it's likely because it's outputting at 11 milliseconds. And you wanna change that to 22 milliseconds like I do here. You have a couple of options and 22 milliseconds is the top option for analog servo setups. There are some analog servos out there that can handle 11 milliseconds, but if you're not sure, go ahead and set it to 22. That'll make a world of difference on your servos. Another thing, when you change this setting, you do have to power cycle the receiver. So you have to exit out of forward programming to save the settings and then power cycle the receiver. So I'm just gonna do that real quick. Okay, so now that I've gotten that off my chest, let's dive a little deeper into what unlocking your 637TA does for you. Go to forward programming, and we're gonna go to gyro settings. We now have two menus that you have access to if you haven't factory resetted your receiver. If you have factory resetted your receiver, then go ahead and check out the videos that I have linked in the description on how to set up an open stock 637T receiver. There's a whole slew of things that you can do with an open stock setup. You can change gains, way that safe works, all kinds of stuff. But if you're just wanting to tune the aircraft beyond how it's tuned from the factory, if you have a binded fly plane like an Ultimate or the P-51 Smart or things like that, and you want to tune it to your liking, just maybe even just play around with it so you can get a better understanding of how gains and AS3X work, then this is the way you're going to want to go. So, we have these two menus. We have AS3X settings and we have safe select. So in this menu, I feel like the first thing that we want to cover is the safe select because this is the place where you're going to be able to assign a switch to different flight modes. And I feel like that's the main thing that people are going to want to use this for. They're going to want to be able to have three different flight modes, one for AS3X, one for safe, 
and one for nothing. If they want to try it without any kind of stabilization, they can turn it completely off. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's go to Safe Select. And at the top here, we're going to choose a channel. We're going to hit channel 1, and I'm just going to flip a switch. Let's say flip switch C, or B, rather. This one here, that one I have attached to AUGS2. And that you can adjust in the channel assign menu. Really, I just flip a switch until you find the one you want. And then, you'll see when I flip this switch at the top, and if you've watched our AR637T videos, you'll see this a little bit more in detail. But when you see flight mode at the top, that's the flight mode that it's currently assigned to. And then you have the things that are active during that flight mode. This selection that's at the bottom that says safe select on and off, uh, you could either leave it on or off. And this is essentially doing the same function as holding the two sticks in and flipping the switch. It's going to assign it to the channel that you have selected at the top. So it'll always be on when it's in flight mode one or when the switch is all the way up at positive 100%, however you want to look at it. That's when it's going to turn safe select on. And then the other two flight modes are assignable to you. If I want flight mode two, that's the middle position on my switch, to be AS3X on but safe off, that is outlined here. And then when the switch is pulled all the way forward in the three position, now AS3X is turned off safe is turned off and it's essentially flying without any stabilization. Let's go back to our settings here. So let's go to AS3X settings here at the top. So if I wanted to play around with the AS3X gain settings, I could. If I felt like uh, my uh, pitch rate, my pitch gain is a little high, I could go a little lower here if I wanted to. Let's go ahead and try that. All right, and then what you'll notice if I go to flight mode three, the switch is all the way towards me, those things just disappear because this is the mode where we had turned off, if you remember, we had turned off the AS3X settings. One thing that I do want to mention is that you do have priority here. Works a lot like the, it works the same way as I had just mentioned with the switch. It's the priority of AS3X. You can't adjust it for safe. And that's essentially it. Hopefully that helped you guys out in getting your AR637TA unlocked and ready for use how you see fit. This is Tom again, signing off for this video. If you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll get to them. Or if you want to see more Spectrum Tech Tip videos, leave a comment below of what you'd like to see and I'll get on it. Thanks for watching and happy flying.